got back from swimming. It's so crazy. So um, I'm I'm a little bit farther than my work, and uh, I I checked the battery on this thing. And look, it says we're at uh, 87 percent. That is that is damn crazy, if you ask me. So one of my contacts is really messed up, so it's really hard for me to see. I can see out of one really good, the other one's really blurry, so I don't know if my contact got messed up. It's still in there. But uh it's really hard right now. So uh I set my RGB uh lights. I should say my LED lights because they're not RGB right now. I set them all to red. And the reason why I did that is our brake lights aren't really good on these bikes. So I really want to, I want people to see me. So check this out. Before, I, I used to have to wait. Now I can just go. motorcycle now crap I didn't know I couldn't go that way um, I'm a little screwed now <laughs> I wasn't trying to take this way the, the only road that this takes me to is uh, the freeway and I'm not taking the freeway so I'm gonna have to take this little side street so now I'm gonna be backtracking so I gotta go all the way down and then turn Oh, that's so crazy to know that I can do 50 miles an hour with a quarter throttle. Like, it's so nice. Ooh. Look how, like, I would have been stuck in that traffic if I had a 60 volt. I only made that turn because I'm on a 72 volt battery and I got 13 kilowatts of power running right now. That's the only way I got, I made that light right now. This is already coming in handy. Already. Like, I love it. I love it. So there's a video that I want to, I want to make. It's, it's, it's when I have some free time and I just want to focus on it. Just want to go ride and uh, talk about it. But I really want to go over the pros and cons about, you know, getting this bike, doing the 72 volt, doing the controller, like if it's worth it, like my thoughts on it, uh, compared to if you just get like a motorcycle or, you know, something like that. So. so I, I really want to give you my thoughts. They might not match up to everybody, but you know, if you want an opinion on uh, someone that has one of these bikes and you, you're thinking about getting one of these or getting a motorcycle, you're not sure what like fits your style. I'll just tell you right off the bat though that they're not the same. They're, they don't compare whatsoever. Like I guess you could kind of say they're a little similar, but other than that, like, I mean, this is, this is tiny. It's like a hundred pounds. So, but I'm not going to get into all that information. We'll do it in another video. Right now, I'm just trying to enjoy the bike. I just want to ride it. You know, I just want to have some fun. Like right now, look, like I'm barely on throttle. That's like, that's like 15% throttle right there. And I'm just cruising at 50. Like, I feel like it's going to get me into some trouble. Like, I'm not going to lie. to say what's up to my motorcycle friends the biggest positive to me about having all this power is being able to pass people don't go car don't go like when i need to overtake somebody now i can actually overtake someone with confidence and know that if the road's ending 
It's like a two lane going to the one lane, the road's ending. I know I can overtake that car. Before I was kind of like, ah, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time and then I second guess myself and I don't do it. Now I can. So if you guys want some uh, updates real quick on uh, the temperature of everything. So uh, right now we're at 72% and 39C for the battery and we're at 74C for the motor. Anything over 100 is cooking the motor. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna like really damage anything. It just, you're, you're up there when you're like past 100C on the motor. And then definitely 120, that's when things get kind of bad. And it starts cutting power because you're really uh, too hot. And I can see why a lot of people can probably get some uh, good range out of these batteries. I was a little skeptical when um, I think Sir Monster said that he gets 60. I don't doubt that you could get 60. Um, I probably won't because I normally do the speed limit. I'm in traffic and he's not. He's normally um, just kind of chilling, doing willies, you know. Um, and then kind of like in the packs and stuff where everyone's kind of going a little slow. All right, so we were at 73%. I think earlier I said 72, but I think that's because I was on the throttle and letting off so it didn't jump back up yet. 77.2 volts. This is pretty accurate. If I go back, uh, 69% on here. So I am going to adjust it a little bit because that's about four off. It's not too bad. Look how effortlessly that was like that was full throttle it could always be faster don't get me wrong but uh that's a big difference big big difference oh my god my mirror moved like a lot a lot a lot i need to tighten it again that thing comes loose every so often I think I got like a death wish or something. But no, just hella fast now. I'm having fun in this thing, man. Okay, if you're gonna turn, go ahead. So here's some ideas I'm thinking about videos. Uh, for one, I was thinking about doing one of uh, the top speed. I want to see how fast I can get. Um, another video, I do want to take it on the freeway. Just one exit. I just want to get on and get off real quick. Um, that's just something I've always wanted to do. Just take an e-bike on the freeway. Like, you know, fun. Um, another one, you know, I think I mentioned it earlier is how does it compare to a motorcycle and is it worth it stuff like that and then i want to get an actual video of my complete thoughts on it with kind of a lot of information in there and then i want to start trying to actually like race people like i really want to try to race people. <laughs> and then uh we need to do a range test on it so that's one video idea i really want to do i'll, I'll probably do a couple of those some range tests because where I have to go, most of the time, I don't think I'm gonna run out of range, but I'm pretty sure if I wanna push my limits on this bike, I'm pretty sure I can uh, get it down there and uh, we can test that theory out. I know one of my buddies says he has a ruckus. Another person says um, they have a Grom. I wanna really try to get together with these people and like just have some fun racing and uh, just kind of ride. But I'm hoping this is gonna take us some more, uh, some more places. My, one of my goals is um, when I bought this battery, the reason, you might think it's kind of stupid, but one of the main reasons why I got the 40 amp hour over the 32 was the simple fact that the main place I wanted to really take this bike was Woodward Park. Quick pull real quick. So, uh, I want to take this bike to uh, Woodward Park, even though I'm not going to be going off road, not going to be doing a lot of dirt stuff because I'm in the street and stuff. But my goal was to make it there and back home. And I honestly think I can do that easily now because when I took it the other day, um, 
when I had that phone call with Vince, I noticed, I want to say when I got back, that was the day I raced a motorcycle, and when I got back home, I want to say it was at either 52% or 44%. It was somewhere around there, but I think the battery was half. Woodward Park's not that far from uh, Vince's house. It's maybe like another three or four miles. So uh, that was my goal getting this battery and um, it sucks that it's so expensive to get a battery cap for this thing. I ordered some uh, uh, straps for it, you know, so I can put some around here, but that's going to come sooner or later. All right, guys, stay tuned because we got a lot of good videos coming. I do like the fact that you can see like all this stuff. So 65% when we left, what does it say? What did it say I was at when I left? 80%? I think it was 80% when I left. Oh, I can't remember now. But that's really good. 43C. 40, and our motor's at 83. You probably can't see that because it's so bright. Thinking about it, this is probably yellow bright too. But all right, guys. You know what? I reset this when I left. So max speed we hit was 62. Not even trying. And I did a distance right now of 8.44 miles. So not bad, guys. All right. See you in the next one. Peace out.